Despite his nickname, which means skinny, Flaco Jimenez has been described as the heavyweight champion of Conjunto. Not only is he a master of the Texas-Mexican Conjunto tradition, he has taken the distinctive style of diatonic button accordion playing beyond his musical horizons, reaching audiences all over the country, all over the world. Esta noche me la llevo de ese lucido lugar. Born in 1939, Leonardo Jimenez inherited both the nickname Flaco and his love of the accordion from his father, Santiago Jimenez Sr. I learned from my father. Flaco's grandfather, Patricio Jimenez, had been a pioneer of Norteño music, but Flaco only knew him through his father's accordion playing and family stories. And he was one of the best accordion players from those days. <laughs> The older forms of Norteño and Conjunto were accordion-driven dance music largely from German and Czech traditions, which Flaco often called umpa music. But they were given a North American touch by Texans and Mexicans on both sides of the border, singing in Spanish and accompanying the accordion with the bajo sexto, a big 12-string guitar. After a few years of learning the accordion by watching his father give lessons and practicing on his own, and a few more accompanying his dad's playing on the bajo sexto. Flaco could play both instruments well enough to work with musicians and bands like Toby Torres, Joey Lopez, and Los Caminantes, polishing his chops until he was a master musician. Una criatura perdió la vida entre las manos de un criminal. He founded his own band, Los Caporales, when he was just 16 years old. Meanwhile, he absorbed influences from what he heard on the radio stations out of San Antonio and New Braunfels. Not only Conjunto music, but also Hank Williams, Clifton Chenier, and his idol, Elvis Presley. After 20 years of involvement in music, Flaco had a breakthrough in 1972. He was approached by fellow San Antonian Doug Sam, founder of the Sir Douglas Quintet. Sam said he had a song or two that could use Flaco's touch on the accordion if he could make it out to New York for a recording session. When he arrived, the young accordionist was astonished to find the other musicians on the session included David Broomberg, Augie Myers, Dr. John, and Bob Dylan. These sessions became the basis of the two Doug Somm albums, Doug Somm and the Band and the Texas Tornado. The experience opened up a lot of doors for Flopper and soon was collaborating with Ry Cooter on Chicken Skin Music and Peter Rowan on Free Mexican Air Force, among many other great Americana artists and projects. He also continued his own brand of fiery conjunto music, and in 1987, his classic album under Arhuli Records, Ay Te Dejo en San Antonio, won him his first American Grammy. Ya no quiero que me beses, ni besarte, ni mirarte, ni siquiera oír tu voz. And in the late 1980s, Flaco Jimenez joined forces with Doug Somm, Augie Myers, and Freddie Fender to form the Texas Tornado. <laughs> As Flaco told the story, the four of them happened to be in San Francisco with a day off. They got together at a club called Slim's. The band that evening invited the four masters on stage for a jam session, and a scout for Warner Brothers Records was in the house. The next thing they knew, they were a band, and they had a record contract. The first Texas Tornadoes album won a Grammy in 1991 for the song Soy de San Luis. Yo soy puro mexicano, soy de San Luis. To make the victory even sweeter, the song was written by Flaco's father, Santiago Jimenez Sr. Throughout the 1990s, Flaco continued to play conjunto music, for which he won another Grammy in 1996. He kept playing with the Texas Tornadoes and found time for other projects and collaborations. On one occasion, he was tracked down by producer Don Was during a tour and whisked from San Francisco to LA on a day off, where he recorded Sweethearts Together with the Rolling Stones. Sweethearts together, we've only just begun. As he tells the story, he sat in the booth, listened throughout the song once, then he played along with it a couple of times to get a feel of it. 
when he told Mick Jagger he was ready to record. Jagger then said they'd been recording all along, and Flacco had nailed it, even before the first official take. The song came out on the Stones' 1994 album, Voodoo Lounge, which won a Grammy as well. Another project, Los Super 7, was a Tejano Chicano collaboration that teamed up Flaco Jimenez, Freddie Fender, Joe Ely, Ruben Ramos, Rick Trevino, Cesar Rosas, and David Hidalgo of Los Lobos. The group recorded a Mexican Roots album, won a Grammy in 1999. The same year, Flaco won his third individual Grammy Award for his own album, Said and Done. Flaco continues to perform, record, and be honored by his peers and fans. These days, he often tours with the Grammy Award-winning Los Tex Maniacs, who represent the next generation of Tex-Mex Americana folk music. He has won a Lifetime Achievement Grammy, a Lifetime Achievement Award from Billboard Latin Magazine, and an induction into the National Hispanic Hall of Fame and the Latin Music Hall of Fame. When you're ready for... His 1992 album, Partners, on which he collaborated with a wide range of singers, was inducted into the National Recording Registry by the Library of Congress. In 2012, he received a National Heritage Fellowship from the National Endowment of the Arts, the nation's highest honor for a traditional folk artist. Flaco told Roots World years ago when he was young, Conjunto was considered low-class cantina music. Conjunto record companies were ran by Mexicanos for Mexicanos. Outside that community, people didn't want to hear it. The record companies didn't want to release it. But Flaco had a vision. I started making Conjunto more progressive because of the versatility that I believe in, he said. It's a good thing to change it up a little bit. By that, Flaco didn't mean the electronic sounds and other innovations that entered the tradition in the 1980s. He wasn't too crazy about those. Instead, he meant playing some jazz chords or imitating the happy shout of Zydeco. Most importantly, he meant taking his accordion to the world to play with musicians of every kind. Among the Conjunto crowd, Flaco said, I would consider myself one of the first ones who started sharing cultures. For sharing his culture with the world, Flaco Jimenez is an American musical hero. <laughs>